What's up everybody, it's the Inhuman One here and today I'm bringing you another Katana Zero video. In this one, we're going to analyze the most vicious and vile of characters in all of New Mecha. That's right, the star of today's violent snuff film is none other than V. But before I get into the video, I wanted to thank the thousand viewers that participated in the poll. You have no idea how much that helps the channel and how much closer that brings me to pursuing this full time for you all. Thanks again everybody, I really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get started. V, the flashy blue haired gangster, may at first glance seem like a simple thug, but upon closer inspection, he is actually quite layered. I mean let's face it, this guy has single handedly taken down 6 null soldiers. So who is V, and what is his purpose? Simply put, V is a Russian gangster that is employed by the same mysterious benefactor as Snow. V is responsible for the elimination of the remnants of the Null program and also the pseudo distribution of the experimental street version of Kronos. He is incredibly sadistic and takes great pleasure in brutally torturing his victims, namely Zero's noisy neighbors and Omar al Qasim in game. His physical appearance is a direct contradiction to his inferiority complex and his desire to please others. Despite his bright blue hair, gaudy jewelry, and gold bulletproof gauntlets, inside, V is just a lonely, temperamental man desperately seeking approval and acknowledgement. We see how V takes a great interest in Zero, who at the time was responsible for leaving behind gruesome scenes of murder as he mercilessly made his way to his targets. Innumerable corpses and pools of blood decorated the interiors of any domain that his targets dwelled in, whether it be a mansion or a hotel. V is incredibly amused by this show of violence and incessantly tries to impress Zero and find a common ground in their shared psychosis. In another instance, he is seen conversing with Snow, asking if he would be rewarded by the boss for his accomplishments in the capture of al Qasim and the murder of a high-ranking Null soldier. I believe the most intriguing quality of V is his knowledge of Kronos and his ability to outmaneuver long-time users of the drug. As you may already know, Kronos grants the user precognitive abilities and allows trained soldiers opportunities to plan out scenarios in which the success rate is far beyond any normal means. Despite this monumental advantage and superior training, V has sought out and murdered six null soldiers of various ranks, securing his position with his employer. In one instance in particular, V was shot seven times by a null sniper, tracked down the shooter over a mile away, and killed him with his bare hands. In order to pull this off, he must be an incredibly skilled tactician and fighter, and he is. Throughout the game, V manages to catch Zero off guard with traps, and even puts up a hell of a fight in close quarters combat, proving his battle prowess. V's defense is nearly impregnable, and his ability to deflect bullets damn near rivals that of Zero. It isn't until he is severely injured in an explosion and subsequent helicopter crash that he is bested by a null soldier of the Gamma rank. His power is matched only by his knowledge of Kronos. In one of Zero's hallucinations, V visits the Null Soldier and reveals to him the dreadful horror that is Kronos' withdrawal. Due to the alterations of how time is perceived, a Kronos user's death results in an endless cycle of torment, essentially reliving those last moments of suffering and anguish for all eternity. Perhaps this scene is simply Zero coming to the realization that Kronos is his death sentence and his only means to live all in one beautiful blue serum. But it's also likely that V gained knowledge of this feature due to his personal exposure with the drug and also the secrets his employers shared with him. But there is a third and much more sinister possibility. What if V was actually a Null Soldier? After all, Roman numeral V actually has a numerical value of 5. Is V the fifth in the series of super soldiers designed by Leon von Alvensleven? If we were to entertain this theory, it would explain how V had the ability to track down and kill 6 Null Soldiers his knowledge of Cronus' withdrawal symptoms, and most importantly, it would provide his motive. In the slaughterhouse, Leon had a series of tests that were administered to rank the viability of the latest null subjects. Perhaps V was a lower rank null, an alpha or beta, and once the whole project was deemed a failure, he was discarded and forgotten by the government, along with his brethren. In order to survive, he knew he would have to track down and kill other Null users to procure their supply of Kronos, and also secure his position with a powerful benefactor that had an interest in the Null program. So what do you think? Is V actually 5, the 5th Null soldier seeking vengeance and vindication? After all, V did say that he and Zero were cut from the same cloth. And that's all for this video, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.